The carburetor brings fuel and air together in the perfect ratio for combustion. This carburetor replacement kit includes a new carburetor, a purge bulb, and the fuel line that connects them. The carburetor has many tiny passages that route fuel through it. If dirt or corrosion plugs these passages, the engine will run poorly or not start at all. A carburetor can be cleaned and rebuilt, but often it is cheaper or faster to just simply replace it. Replacing your chainsaw's carburetor is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm gonna show you how. I'll begin by removing the air filter cover from the saw. Now remove the air filter. I just simply pull this wire lever down and the air filter will lift out of the way. Now remove the starter from the saw. And now remove the top motor cover. Now remove the two nuts that secure the air filter base to the carburetor mounting studs. There's one screw at the base of the air filter base that'll need to be removed next. Now I'll remove the ignition wires from the ignition switch. And now I can remove the air filter base and switch assembly from the carburetor. Now I'll remove the choke lever and the throttle linkage. Now I can remove the carburetor from the mounting studs and I'll remove the incoming fuel line. If you haven't already drained the gas from the fuel tank, you'll want to do it before you remove this line, otherwise it'll tend to spray out of it. I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers to remove it from the carburetor. There's two tabs on the back of the primer bulb that hold it to the housing. I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers to squeeze those tabs and push the primer bulb out. With the primer bulb removed, I'll remove the return line that goes from the primer bulb and back into the tank. Now I can install the new carburetor. First, I'll reconnect the return line to the primer bulb and snap the primer bulb back into the housing. Now I'll connect the incoming fuel line to the carburetor and slide the carburetor onto the mounting studs. I'll reinstall the throttle linkage. And the choke lever. And now I can reinstall the air filter base. And now I can secure the base with the nuts and the screw.
and I'll reconnect the ignition wires to the kill switch. Now I'll reinstall the top motor cover. Now I'll reinstall the air filter. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the air filter cover. And now you know how to install a new carburetor and purge bulb on your chainsaw. Mm -hmm.